Hello and welcome to my Tunisian Stitches collection. I'm Sarah. Today I'm showing you one of the best known and most beautiful Tunisian stitches, the basket weave stitch. The Tunisian basket weave stitch is a checkered pattern created alternating two different Tunisian stitches, usually the Tunisian simple stitch and the Tunisian pearl stitch. The Tunisian basket weave stitch is created from a chain in multiples of 8 plus 4 plus 2 for the borders. So let's start. Here I have my traditional foundation row of 10 stitches. And this is how it goes. As usual, skip the first vertical bar that's right under the loop on the hook and work into the next four stitches in Tunisian simple stitch by inserting the hook under the first vertical bar, yarn over, pull through and drop a loop on the hook. Repeat this in the next stitches. One, two, three and four. Now switch to the Tunisian pearl stitch and work the next four stitches in Tunisian pearl stitch. So bring the yarn to the front of the hook, insert the hook under the next vertical bar, bring the yarn to the back again, yarn over, pull through and up on the hook and work the next stitches in Tunisian pearl stitch like this. You can find stitch tutorials for both stitches by clicking on the small eye in the top right hand corner of this video if you want to refresh your skills on both stitches. So this is it now. I've reached the end of my forward pass and I will work into that last border stitch with a neat closing stitch, as I like to call it, by inserting the hook under its vertical bar, front bar, and its back bar together, like this. Yarn over, pull through, and drop a loop. Now let's proceed with a standard return pass by yarning over and pulling through one loop only first, then yarn over again, and pull through two loops together, repeating the second movement until the end of the row until I'm left with just one loop on the hook as always there you go and this is row number two if we consider the foundation row as row number one what we need to do now is to repeat this row alternating four stitches in Tunisian simple stitch and four in Tunisian pearl stitch for further four um, rows. Sorry, three rows because we need to create five rows following this pattern. So we will work into the first four stitches in Tunisian simple stitch as before and then the next four stitches in Tunisian pearl stitch. Okay. Like this. And we will always finish with a neat closing stitch. We are doing this in order to create a nice edge both on the left side and on the right side. Okay. This is row number three. Let's proceed with row number four by doing the exactly same thing. So let's work the first 
four stitches in simple stitch and the next four in Tunisian pearl stitch. Okay. Always finishing with a neat closing stitch. And proceeding with a standard return pass. Okay. That was row number four. And let's make the fifth row repeating the very same pattern. And then I'll show you what happens next. Neat closing stitch, return pass. Okay. So now, if you take a look at the texture, you see I have created uh, two different squares, let's say, in two different stitches. And it's clearly visible because I'm using two different stitches. Now I am going to alternate the stitches working in purl stitches here on this side and in simple stitches here. In this way I am creating a checkered effect that goes not only horizontally but also vertically. So this is how it goes. Now I will begin by working into the next into the first four stitches in Tunisian purl stitch. Like this. Three, four. And then I will work into the next four stitches in Tunisian simple stitch. two, three, and four, always finishing with a neat closing stitch and closing the row with a standard return pass. Okay. And you can already start to see what's happening here. This motif, this texture, will be created here and this texture will be, will be created here. And this is what happens. This is what the texture looks like. Of course here I have um, worked a pillow cover creating uh, several number of uh, several squares uh, both horizontally and vertically and this is what happens so this is why i started by saying that the uh, pattern is worked on multiples of eight plus four plus two because eight is the minimum number in order to create two uh, squares in different stitches and of course, if you want to create more, you can work either four more or as many as you want more. This is it. And then the border stitches, as I said, the two stitches as border stitches. Okay, um, as I said in the introduction, you can create a Tunisian basket weave stitch alternating two different kind of stitches. In this case, for example, I have created a basket weave stitch alternating Tunisian knit stitch 
and Tunisian reverse stitch. I love this effect. You see? It's even more visible. And of course, you can also choose to use um, the Tunisian knit stitch combined with the purl stitch or the simple stitch combined with the reverse stitch and obtain a beautiful effect. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you next time with my Tunisian Stitches collection. Bye bye!